Hi, we're the class of 2005 OTA students, and this is our gift to the class of 2006. Okay, this is the functional active range of motion test. First, we start with neck flexion, look down to the floor, look up to the ceiling, which is neck hyperextension, look straight ahead, go down to the side, lateral flexion, go down to the other side, lateral flexion, come back up, bring your hands over your shoulder, that's shoulder flexion, bring your hands behind your neck, that's shoulder external rotation, behind your back, shoulder internal rotation, bring them up over your head, shoulder abduction, Bring them on down, shoulder adduction. Bring them to your shoulders, which is elbow flexion. Bring them out, elbow extension. Bring them in in front of you, turn them over, supination. Turn them down, pronation. Bring them out to your side, ulnar deviation. Into the middle, radial deviation. Bring them down, wrist flexion. Bring them up, elbow flexion. Make a fist, finger flexion. Extend your fingers, uh, finger extension. Tips of your thumb to your fingertips, thumb up position. Bring your arms in front of you. Don't let it push you down. Bring your arms up to the side. Don't let it push you down. Bring one arm to your body. Make a stop sign. Don't let it push you down. Now bring your hand to the floor. Don't let it push you up. Touch your hand to your shoulder. Don't let it pull you out. Extend. Don't let it push you up. Bring your hand close to you. Don't let me turn your forearm over. I'll turn your palm up. Don't let me turn it down. Bring your hand up. Don't let me push you down. Now bring your hand down. Don't let me push you up. Bring your hand towards your body. Don't let me push you out. Bring your hand out. Don't let me push you in. Make a fist with your fingers. Don't let me pull it out. Now extend your fingers. Don't let me push you down. Touch your finger to your thumb and don't let me pull you out. Shoulder flexion, shoulder extension. Next, with your palm up, we'll do shoulder abduction and shoulder adduction. Shoulder external rotation shoulder internal rotation. And if this is too hard for the patient, you can bring their elbow towards their body and do shoulder internal rotation, shoulder external rotation. Next will be elbow flexion and elbow extension. And then supination and pronation. Then wrist flexion, wrist extension. Then ulnar deviation, radial deviation. And finger flexion, finger extension. And thumb opposition. And that concludes passive range of motion. Hi, I'm Kathy. I'm Shannon. I'm Monica. And we are from the class of 2005 Occupational Therapy Assistance, Kingwood College. And we're going to be demonstrating the manual muscle test. We're going to begin our manual muscle testing with shoulder flexion. Position the patient seated with the arm relaxed at the side of the body, hand facing backward while the therapist stands on the side being tested. To stabilize, hold the shoulder being tested, but allow normal abduction and upward rotation of the scapula that naturally occurs with this movement. Palpate the anterior deltoid just below the clavicle on the anterior aspect of the humeral head. Observe as the patient flexes the shoulder joint by raising the arm horizontally 
to 90 degrees flexion parallel to the floor. Resist by pushing at the distal end of the humerus downward toward extension. Position the patient seated with arms relaxed at the sides of body. Elbow on the side to be tested should be slightly flexed with palms facing the body. The therapist stands behind the patient. To stabilize, hold the scapula on the side being tested. Palpate the middle deltoid over the middle of the shoulder joint from the acromion to the deltoid tuberosity. Observe as the patient abducts the shoulder to 90 degrees. During the movement, the patient's palms remain down and the therapist should observe that no external rotation of the shoulder or elevation of the scapula occurs. Have the patient resist while pushing at the distal end of the humerus toward adduction. Test shoulder external rotation. Position the patient prone with the shoulder abducted to 90 degrees. The humerus is in neutral rotation, elbow flexed to 90 degrees. The forearm in neutral rotation is hanging over the edge of the table perpendicular to the floor. The therapist stands in front of the supported surface toward the side being tested. To stabilize, place the hand under the arm at the distal end of the humerus on the supporting surface. Palpate the infraspinitis muscle just below the spine of the scapula on the body of the scapula. Observe the rotation of the humerus so that the back of the hand moves toward the ceiling. Have the patient resist while pushing on the distal end of the forearm toward the floor. To test shoulder internal rotation, position the patient prone with the shoulder abducted to 90 degrees. The humerus is in neutral rotation the elbow flex to 90 degrees. The forearm is perpendicular to the floor. The therapist stands on the side being tested just in front of the patient's arm. To stabilize, hold at the distal end of the humerus by placing the hand under the arm on the supporting surface. Palpate the teres major and the latissimus dorsi along the axillary border of the scapula toward the inferior angle. Observe the movement of the palm of the hand toward the ceiling, internally rotating the humerus. Have her resist while pushing on the distal end of the volar surface of the forearm toward the floor. 